Yulia, daughter of one of the leaders in the Russian military, shares the story about her deceased mother and her loneliness, despite living with her father. During the classroom, the teacher is explaining about an astronomical phenomenon happening on Earth and a nerd named Google seems to have a crush on Yulia since he always tries to help her to answer the teacher's questions. After school, Yulia asks her father, Colonel Valentin Lebedev, permission to see a meteor shower that evening, but he forbids the request, claiming it's for her safety. Annoyed with her dad's decision, she calls her badass boyfriend, Tioma who suggests she disobeys her father since it is a once-in-fifty-years phenomenon. Tioma eventually picks Yulia up to the roof of a building where everyone is waiting for the meteor shower while Yulia meets her girlfriend, Svetlana. The couple decide to have fun in Svetlana's apartment room, leaving her alone on the rooftop. Meanwhile, an alien spaceship is seen traveling through the solar system. Suddenly, it gets hit by one of the meteors, causing it to malfunction and enter Earth's atmosphere at a very high speed. The Russian military detects the falling alien spaceship and they launch missiles at it since it does not slow down, causing it to lose speed. The spaceship begins to fall toward the city and damages several buildings, including Svetlana's apartment. This collision immediately kills Svetlana while shocks the couple, who almost fall from the building. After crashing a lot of buildings and killing hundreds of people, it finally stops moving. The Russian military immediately approaches the crashing ship in the impact zone and attempts to make contact with them while evaluating the city since the spaceship could be a nuclear bomb. Colonel Lebedev and Mikhail Polskin, a state Duma deputy, walk toward the ship to make contact with an ancient creature, presumably alien, for the first time. Several shooters are also placed to anticipate a surprise attack. Mikhail attempts to give a warm welcome to the alien and it seems to understand them and try to communicate with them, but in an unidentified language. A few moments later, Lebedev reports to the higher-ups, saying that he has agreement with the aliens to keep a distance from them while they are repairing the broken spaceship. Some higher-ups suggest they carry out an assault to destroy it entirely, but the colonel refuses to provoke aggression with the aliens and chooses to observe. Meanwhile, Yulia finally awakens and learns that her girlfriend has passed away. She also sees the news on the TV, revealing that his father is responsible for the operation and protective structures have been built around the one kilometer radius surrounding the spaceship. She then leaves the hospital and mourns for her friend S's death. Colonel Lebedev then takes his daughter home where she has to live with her grandma temporarily. Despite the crash, the students still attend school where the teacher expresses his excitement to encounter an extraterrestrial civilization. The students are angry towards the aliens since they believe the aliens are the cause of the death of their friends or family members and the military still doesn't take any action. Yulia then secretly takes her father's gun and goes to Tioma's gang hideout where Tioma and his friends plan to spread negative comments about the aliens in the social media. She urges them to go to the quarantine zone to avenge her girlfriend's death. They sneak in through an old processing plant and eventually arrive at the zone. Tioma suggests Yulia waits in the car while the others explore the nearby buildings where they discover an alien thing, presumably fell through the ceiling. Meanwhile, Yulia disobeys her boyfriend and silently ascends to Svetlana's apartment room where an alien creature suddenly shows up and shocks Yulia. The alien saves her from falling down and tries to communicate with her while Tioma and his friends arrive and hit the mysterious creature. It slips and loses its grip, causing it to free fall. They immediately approach the creature, and Tioma finds blood, which has the same characteristics as humans. Turns out it is an exoskeleton armor, and Yulia spots a dying alien creature which has the exact same physical form as humans, but she ignores him. They then manage to take the armor and the mysterious thing away unnoticed. Later that night, Yulia can't sleep and decides to go back to the building in the quarantine zone. Upon arrival, she rescues the alien and hides its body inside the car. The next day, she asks Google, who plans to study medicine after graduation, to help her. She tells Google that she owes the alien and wants to save him. Google concludes his anatomy is similar to humans, thus they bring him to a hospital since he has lost a lot of blood. They do a blood test on him and figure out that he has the same blood group as Yulia. She decides to transfuse her blood to him and it works. 
he wakes up and suddenly grabs her hand, transferring his metal bracelet to her. While taking a bath, she realizes that the metal bracelet attracts water and allows her to control water. Meanwhile, the military army retrieves the shield lookalike alien thing and investigates it. The colonel is also aware that the thing can control water. On the other side, a fisherman is shocked when he finds out the water nearby the alien vessel has magically disappeared. The scientist concludes that the ship draws water and uses it to fix the ship since 30% of the external damage of the ship has been repaired. Meanwhile, the alien wakes up and somehow manages to speak Russian. He introduces himself as Hacken and reveals that he is looking for a device called Shilk. He dresses up and leaves on his own. The patrolling officers spot him and send him off to a police station to be interrogated. Tyoma and his friends examine the exoskeleton and discover that they can utilize it since it is the right size for humans. One of his friends accidentally activates the armor, which makes the gang panic. Tyoma calls Colonel Lebedev and decides to hand over the exoskeleton to the military, but he is not available at the moment. They stumble upon a crowd who are furious because the military rationed the water supply. One of them attempts to provoke the crowd and the fight between the officers and the crowd ensues. Tyoma, who has good intentions to try to break up the fight, gets hit in the back by one of the officers and gets arrested. Not long after, Lebedev arrives, but Tyoma cancels his plan to give the exoskeleton to the military. While being questioned, the police officer is confused when she cannot find any fingerprints on Hacken's finger. A few moments later, Yulia arrives at the police station to free Hacken. Unfortunately, Tyoma is also in the same room when he finds Yulia, and he is very disappointed with her action. She decides to bring the alien to the perimeter to meet her father. While on their way, Hacken explains that he needs Shilk to be able to return to his planet. Upon arrival, Yulia has to fabricate that she is pregnant so her father desires to meet her. She introduces Hacken to the colonel while discreetly acquiring her father's access card and handing it to the extraterrestrial, who was promptly expelled by her furious father. Hacken assumes the guise of a scientist and infiltrates the laboratory, where he retrieves the shilk from the unidentified entity. It takes some time before the scientists discern that he is not Colonel Lebedev, triggering the emergency alarm. Subsequently, Hacken somehow reunites with Yulia and Lebedev, who orders his men to drive them home. Tyoma is eventually released, and with his comrades, they commence preparations for the uprising. They outfit their vehicle, concoct Molotov cocktails, and procure baseball bats. Following this, he contacts Yulia, expressing remorse and imploring her to join the movement, but she declines, opting for the alien over him. Hacken urgently needs to transport the Shulk into the spacecraft, yet they must wait until midnight as circumventing the guards is unfeasible. Yulia escorts him home and presents her ailing dog to the alien. Hacken discerns the dog's suffering and administers the Shulk, miraculously restoring its health. While dining, Yulia learns from the TV that Hacken is now a wanted military fugitive. Upon discovering her father's military convoy approaching, they flee, with Hacken cautioning her against smoking due to its adverse health effects. Meanwhile, a viral hate video denouncing the alien and military gains traction, influencing many. It is revealed that Tyoma and his associates are behind the video, disseminating hatred. Yulia and Hacken seek refuge with Google, borrowing his attire. Subsequently, they attend a concert, evading Colonel Lebedev's pursuit. While dancing, Hacken implores Yulia to grasp his hand and reveals his planet's visage, cautioning against human proximity to their vessel lest Saul destroy it to safeguard their technology. Unfortunately, Tyoma's friend spots them, enraging Tyoma. Following the festivities, Yulia guides the alien to his ship through an abandoned structure, where they share a kiss, and Yulia confesses her true feelings. Abruptly, the heartbroken Tyoma and his companions materialize, savagely assaulting the alien. Hacken retaliates when Tyoma strikes Yulia, effortlessly subduing their assailants. Amidst the altercation, a bullet intended for Hacken strikes Ruslan. Tyoma and his confederate flee as guards arrive. 
Devastated by Ruslan's demise, Tioma concocts a false narrative attributing the death to the alien and incites online followers to riot and attack the spaceship. After everyone is gathered, Tioma gives a provocative speech to them, telling them that the military has been protecting the aliens, not them, and they have to reclaim their Earth. The military holds the fire and chooses to defend the line, but Tioma S Group begins to rampage and manage to break through the barricade. Meanwhile, Tioma tries to utilize the alien S exoskeleton. Feeling threatened, the spaceship summons several aliens with the modern suit to defend their ship. At the military base, Yulia reveals to her father that Hakan is not human and eventually disobeys her father, threatening to kill herself, since she believes that the right thing to do right now is to return the alien to his ship instead of calling a full military assault. She immediately drives Hakan back to his spaceship where Tioma with his new suit intervenes. He crashes the car, causing Yulia to faint. Hakan has no other option than to fight him. Tioma outpowers the alien and attempts to kill him when Yulia wakes up and hits the exoskeleton with the car. Meanwhile, Colonel Lebedev and his soldiers lower their weapon, showing to the aliens that they are harmless. The exoskeleton loses its arm and Tioma is ejected from the suit. He grabs the rifle and ruthlessly shoots the couple. Lebedev sees his daughter got shot and immediately orders his men to arrest Tioma. The aliens cooperate with the humans and bring the dying Hakan, Yulia, and Colonel Lebedev into the ship. They then put them into a healing capsule while Lebedev talks to the ship SAI, Saul. Saul, who speaks Russian, explains to the colonel that they are prohibited to visit Earth since it's considered as a place with an extremely aggressive social environment. Hakan believes there is hope to make contact with Earth and travels to Earth to observe. Thanks to Yulia S. sincere love for Hakan, Saul states that she might bring a positive impact to the result of the observation. Not long after, Yulia is resurrected and the spaceship departs from Earth while releasing excess water. At the end of the movie, Yulia states that one stranger, in the far distant cosmos, believed in humankind capabilities more than humans themselves.